Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle by Katie Splendor called German Beetles. My understanding is this was a, um, a guest puzzle on Artisanal Sudoku as well, which is an extra bonus. Um, so yeah, um, this was a recommendation that came through um, with a statement that saying this had been checked, so I'm going to give it a look. So what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rule supply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Um, each digit along a green line differs in value by at least five from its neighbor. So um, adjacent digits on a green line must have a difference of at least five, it's fine. Um, so these two digits will have a, a difference of at least five, as will these, as will these. White Kropke dots separate cells with a difference of one. Black Kropke dots separate cells with a value uh, in a white value of one to two. No negative constraint. I'm not seeing any black dots. So I think this is a consecutive pairs puzzle, but there's it's given the ratio rules, even though they're not used. I haven't reset this or anything. This is as originally provided. Oh, well. Two cells separated by an X sum to 10. Two cells separated by a V sum to five, no negative constraint, so it's X, V pairs. Digits in killer cages are distinct and add to the value in the left upper corner of the cage. It's an interesting wording. I have seen people use the distinct wording before, um, but it did cause some confusion for non-English speakers, which is why I think um, the settlement eventually was on digits do not repeat within a cage, but yeah, it's fine. Um, thermometer lines strictly increase from the bulb end. Um, so this digit must be higher than this. This digit must be um, here. And thin gray lines without bulbs, these ones are palindromes and read the same in either direction. Okay, so whichever direction you read from, if you were to read the number on the line, it would read the same. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, this must be a high digit because in a 14 cage, the minimum digit you can put in is a five. If I was to put anything a four or less here, this would have to be a 10 or higher. So the minimum this could be is a five, but it can't be a five because if this was a five on the other side of the X to sum to 10 would also have to be a five and there'd be two fives in the column, which doesn't work. So this is six, seven, eight or nine. Now, if this is six, then this is eight. If this is seven, this is five. If this is eight, this is four. And if this is not, no, wait, I've got this wrong. If this is six, this is eight. If this is seven, this is, can't be seven because there would be two sevens. If this is eight, this is six. And if this is nine, this is five. Now, these are one, two, or four, and this is six, eight, or nine because it's the partner of, it's, it's the same digit as that because if they sum to 10 and they sum to 10 and they share a digit, those are the same. But the important thing here is those are high digits. Because along a green line, there are some interesting properties. Now, I know this can't be six, but I'm going to talk about the properties first. Along a green line, um, let's use this line. Uh, let's use the one up here as an example. Um, you can never put a five on a green line because in order to have a difference of at least five, you have to add five or more or subtract five or more. Now, if I subtract five from five, five or more, I end up with zero or less. If I add, I end up with 10 or higher, it doesn't work. Now, so every digit is either going to exist above five or below five. Now, if I have a digit below five, I'm ignoring the thermometer and everything else. If I have a digit below five, Actually, I think I could see something else going on. If I have a digit below five, then any digit next to it can't also be below five because the maximum difference is three. So this would have to be above five. But if I have a digit above five, I can, the next digit can't also be above five. The maximum difference is three. So you're always going to have to alternate above five, below five, above five, below five. Now, this is a high digit. So this is these two are going to have to be below this is going to have to be the alternate, which is above. This is going to have to be the alternate, which is below. And this is going to have to be the alternate, which is above. But I could have got that faster because look what's happening on every one of these lines. This is a, um, this is one color. Let's for now just call it green. This is the, um, these are the alternate color, which call them purple. These are the back to the original, which is green. And this is the alternate, which is purple. But this is lower on the thermo than this. So green has to be low 
and these have to be high. And this is the truth true on all of these. So these must be low and these must be high. I got there eventually. I just saw this first. Let people say, oh, um, uh, you know, I, I didn't see the obvious thing. True, but I saw something else. It's like, as long as I'm doing something. So that is the coloring on all of the, I used the wrong thing. Those are high. Uh, still got it wrong. Those are high. So yeah, that's really cool. Now, this can't be a six, because if this was a six, both of those would have to be one, because six only has one digit in on the combo that um, next to it. The only, all of the high digits are too close, and if you subtract five, you get to one. And I can't make both of those one. So this can't be a six, this can't be a four, this can't be a six. Now, this is a high digit. It's exactly the same, surely. It, oh, this one could be a five. No, it can't be a five. It's on a line. So it's six, seven, eight, or nine. It can't be a seven because you can't put a seven in a 14. Can't be a six. Both of those can't be a one. This is an eight or a nine, which, hang on, eight, nine goes with five, eight goes with six. This can't be an eight. So this is five or six. Right. So this is six or seven, but it can't be a six. So this is a seven. I've now got eight, nine, six, seven, the maximum this could be, these are one, two, three, four. Now, these can't be four because the only, similar to six only having a single partner, four only has a single partner, which is nine. In fact, seven can only go next to one, one and two. They're the only digits that can go next to seven. So this can't be a one or a two. This can't be a one or a two, and these have to increase. This is three, this is four which is a low digit, but I could get rid of the coloring in this box. I don't need it anymore. Is this going to be the same in all of them? Sort of it is, because these are 789. I can't put 6 on the line. Similarly here, these are 789. But these actually do turn out to be a little bit different. I don't need that coloring. That coloring is not helping. So the, because, and these have to be one, two, three, because I can't put four on them. These are four, five, six. And I think that is going to be true on all of them. I can't put four in any of those. So these are one, two, three. These are four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three. And these are four, five, six. Now, I can get rid of all of the color. I don't need it anymore. Now, the four takes four out of here. This can't be a seven because of that seven, but there's limitations here. This can't be a six because a six would need another six. So four would go with eight, five would go with seven. There's no nine here. Here, I can't use a six and there's no nine here. So these cages mean that this is the nine. Nine can go next to any of these. One of those has to be a seven. So this can't be a three because there is a seven in one of those and three is only four away from seven. I also could remove it from that, but I saw it a different way. Okay. Now, I think I've got the same thing. I can't put seven in either of those because the 14 cage prevents it being seven, seven. So there's no seven in either of those. That's the seven. That makes these one, two, the only digits that can go in it, which makes this a three. Now that still allows this to be four, five, six, but eight, nine with 14, we already know goes with five and eight goes with six. So there's no four in any of those. That's the four. Taking four out of there, taking three out of there, taking seven out of there. 8, 9 goes with 1, 2 on the 10. The 1, 2 looks up, making that the 3. This isn't the 3. I like this. This is really good fun. Now, what I might want to do is cut... Yeah, this 8, 9 goes with this, but this is a 9. So this is an 8, this is a 2, this is an 8, because it's the same as over here. These had to be the same digit. 8 goes with 6, which means this is 9 and 5. The eight, actually, this is okay. But this eight is looking up, making that the seven. Seven to go to 12 is five, making this the eight and this the four. This is the six. The eight looks across, making that the nine, which makes that the five, which makes that the eight and that the six. The eight goes with two and eight again. The six comes out of here. 
the eight comes out of here. Now, four, hang on. I, I never got to the math on these cages, but the only option that works now is seven, five, because nine would need to go with three. It doesn't work. So this is seven and five, which takes seven, five out of there. I still can't do nine, three. So this is eight and four. I could have got to that. I just hadn't got to these cages yet. So this is the nine. Uh, this is the six, because out of the four, five, six, nine can go with any of one, two, three. Okay, now there's no two here because of this. Five has to be consecutive with something, but it can't be consecutive with four. That's the six. This V clue. Now, a V clue is another place I could have put information to start with, but a V clue can either be one, four, or two, three. After that, if I keep going up, it's three, two, which is the same, and I've run into the same option. So this can't be one, four, because I can't put four into either of the cells. This is two, three. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. Eight has to go consecutive with something, and I can't use nine, so that's the seven. This is one, two, three, four. This is a five right there. And I know what this triple is. Yeah, I know what this triple is. Wow, that's weird, because this is one, four, nine. And the one, four, nine here means that's the two which means there's no two there. I wonder if I could have got that a different way. But the, this being a palindrome means this is one, four, nine, and it sees a four and a nine. So those are both one. This is just clean. I love puzzles that are clean like this. Yeah, there may have been another way of getting that too, but I couldn't see it, obviously. But anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven go into those. This five has to be consecutive with someone thinking, but it can't be the six. So that becomes the four. So this is from one, two, three. These are one, two, three, and five. So there's a five in one of those two. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. That two. I could have chased that a lot earlier because it would have made that the three and that the one. The three would have lost cross making that the two and that the three. The two would have made that the one and that the two. That would have got it for me. I needed to use that two and that would have got it for me without chasing that. But okay, whatever. The two looks up making that the one, which makes that the two. And now I'm down to pairs and triples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is three, four, not seeing how to resolve it. One, two, three, four, four. No, not two. I've got a two. See right there? That's already a two. Don't need another one. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. These are five and nine. Don't see it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are one, six, seven. So this is one, six, or seven um, because of the palindrome, but it sees a six and a seven. So those are both one as well, taking the one out of there. Just nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine go in. If that was a four, this would be a six. If this is a nine, this would be a one. It cannot be a one, so this is six and four and nine. The four looks down, making that the nine and that the four. Um, okay, let's put this, well, the eight has to be consecutive with something, and it can't be consecutive with the nine, so that's the seven. The five has to be consecutive with something, but it can't be consecutive with the four, so that is the six. These are now pairs, one, two, and eight, I believe. The two is looking up, making that the eight, and that the two. These are three and five. The three is looking up, making that the five, and that the three. This is a pair, one, two, three, four, four, one, and seven. The one here is making that the seven, one in the center of the grid, which as soon as I place the one on those palindromes I could have done but once again I was doing other stuff instead uh, the seven of course makes this the six and this the seven um, there will be other stuff I haven't done yet let's look at this triple one two three four five six seven eight three five nine there's a three there so there's no three there there is a three and a nine already in that column. That's the five, that's the nine, that's the three. Now I've got pairs in columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine. The eight is looking across making that the nine and that the eight. One, two, and four there. The two makes that the four and that the two. The four looks across making that the three and that the four. Uh, the six looks back making that the seven and that the six. There is no two there. The one makes that the three. One, two, three, four, five which looks back making that the nine and that the five that was not hard but really nice 
just nice. I, I keep trying to talk about how it is really, really cool to have puzzles that are just beautiful flow, nice use of the constraints, have some wonderful deductions that when you find them, you go, yeah. Um, they're the sort of puzzles I love to put on the channel. I am trying to get some harder ones done when I have some time. Um, and when I get them, uh, my submission guidelines, of course, are all, as always, are below. Um, yeah, um, of course, I've got to get through my testers as well at the moment, although I want to try, even though my testers have said, this might be a bit hard, I want to try them. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. Thanks, Katie Splendor, for the puzzle. Um, as I said, as always, check out Artisanal Sudoku. Just Google it. It's worth it. it best value for money that you can spend um, on Sudoku. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.